on guys Brian back with another video and today I will be giving you guys some pro tips and tricks to help you improve your gameplay on State of Decay 2. Alright guys the first thing we have here is the grapple throw. Now this is one of the most underutilized things I think I've seen in the game so far. I don't see a lot of people using it but this is very as you guys can see it is a very good form of crowd. I think it's the best form of crowd control in the game when it comes to mass cc and knockdowns with the for the zombies you just grab a zombie and you just push him into the other zombies and it always it's guaranteed to knock down any zombie that it touches and it's just it's just, look it's just so it's just so nice I, I love it it's my it's my go-to move you can use it for attack or you can use it to run so try it out guys all you do is grapple and you throw them all right guys the next thing we have here is just no one to run away here i'm in a situation where i have a juggernaut coming i almost have blood flow and i only have a pistol and there's a ton of zombies on the road that are eventually going to come every time he yells so at this point i know all right i should probably just run so when you run away just make sure you guys are using buildings jumping through windows and stuff like that because you can lose the, the zombies line of sight very easily and also use your verticality it's and uh suppress weapons that's about your best way to run away all right guys another quick little tip here is just use the stomp um it's a nice quick way well sometimes quick sometimes it can take as you can see there a lot to kill them but it's free it doesn't use any uh parts uh or weapon durability so just use it it's it's an easy kill all right guys and here i'm just showcasing how much faster the knife is than the sword or uh blunt weapon the execution time for a knife is almost instant where you can get stuck in some really long animations when it comes to the swords or the blunt and uh, the blunt weapons. All right, guys, and here I'm just showcasing when you use the knife and the throw together. Um, to me, it is one of the best uh, CC combinations in the game. A lot of guys don't use it, so I just wanted to showcase it right here so you guys could see firsthand um, just how much faster the executions are with the knife and uh, how much. Now, this is also with close combat guys because if you have the knife and you try to do the behind execution that you see me doing every now and again you will get the uh the one where you spin around and you like step like break their head um that execution takes a very long time so if you don't have close combat don't do that but the ground execution with the knife regardless if you have close combat or not is always going to be fast so uh as you get to see they, the zombies came and touched me they're just the speed is just way too high using this method all right guys another quick tip right here you come to the trader you trade with them and then you come over to the rucksack and you buy and equip the rucksack all right now, once you buy and equip the rucksack, you, while you're still in the trader menu, do not leave the trader menu. You come over to the rucksack, and you hit down there where it says unequip, and it puts it in your inventory. And you can do this over and over and over again. But this only works with traders. Now, doing this allows you to take these rucksacks and actually put them, you can trade them to friends if you have a friend or something like that. Um, instead of having to do the thing where you put it on your character's back and you go into their um, their game and give it to them, doing it this way allows you to just trade it to them right from your inventory. But it also allows you to just install or drop them in your um, supply locker. So no longer do you have to sit there and store them in the back of your vehicles. You can just put them in your supply locker. Um, some people might look at this as cheating. I, I don't usually do it too often myself on all my playthroughs that you guys see. Um, but it's a nice nifty little trick for those who are interested. All right, guys. So here, I was just trying to give you guys some quick uh, heavy weapons tips. The build that I found to be the most useful, guys, the only way to really make these works is uh, make sure you have powerhouse. Um, and make sure you're using stamina items because if you're not you're just it, you're gonna wipe out even with powerhouse I run powerhouse and discipline which gives me stamina back on, per kill But as you can see here guys, I'm being mobbed up pretty good um, So I pop a smoke grenade and then come to find out heavy weapons don't work inside the smoke So if you guys ever pop a smoke grenade to like CC the zombies around you the heavy weapon doesn't do anything 
while you're in the smoke. As you guys can see, I'm just swinging away, swinging away. And then uh, usually I use this method, the smoke grenade method, because a lot of people don't use it. But it's a good thing. But as you can see, even after the smoke dissipates, the zombies, I, I can hit the feral once, and then it's like randomly it just opens up and I'm able to hit the zombies. So I think there's something bugged with the smoke. But as you guys can see, this build's not too bad. It's it's kind of hard to keep up with the speed of a feral. But with enough dodging and stuff, I felt like you can you can manage. Um, and it does do a lot of damage, guys, as you can see. I am still getting beat up pretty good. But it, you're still able to somewhat manage the speed of the feral a little bit. Now I start focusing the feral a little bit more. But as you can see, guys, it's it's not too bad. And, and it, it really does do a lot of damage. Now this is using that rare axe. So I don't know if maybe this axe is better than the other weapons. But... Um, I'm, I have sword play, uh, the bladed weapon uh, trait, and then I also have uh, discipline and powerhouse. Those were what I was using. But hey, guys, I appreciate you guys for watching. If you have any questions or tips and tricks for me, um, or you have any questions about something that you want to see or maybe me go over, just leave a comment down below, and I will get back to you guys. But I appreciate you guys for watching. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.